I am Anja and I'm part of the Impact Initiative of the University Medical Center in Groningen. Today I'm going to tell you more about two methods of looking at impact. The impact of your research project to society at large is not predictable. You can just explain what kind of impact you intend to have on society, on the economy, on technology. Most funding agency will ask you for this outlook in a funding proposal. In the outlook you will include outputs you plan, for example publications or data that you will collect, the outcomes that you envision, so how you envision to bring your outputs to the next level, to make your publication visible to relevant policy makers, for example, so that guidelines can be changed. Not less important is to include the partners that you will involve to make your research impactful. Who do you need to include in your project to make it work? In our example, that would be a good connection to relevant policymakers. Remember, these plans are not written in stone, but they will develop and change over time. And they can help you to get a better picture of where your research is headed. Sometimes you will be asked to describe impact retrospectively, for research evaluation, for example. For that, a case-based approach is often used. Narratives are created to explain the outcomes of the project and which effect or impact these had on society. Creating or looking back at a well-defined impact process can help you to sharpen your research, identify missed opportunities, perhaps find new leads that will improve your future research. Try it out. We provide some templates and information on our homepage to create your impact narratives. And in the next video, we will guide you through the impact process with the tool we use.